with my brother right now. Uh, I'm not taking the SI today, but uh, we're gonna head to the Bay Area, uh, visit some family. This is uh, just a vlog outside of cars, a little lifestyle vlog. Gonna go visit moms and shit. But yeah, I'll catch you guys on the road. And uh, maybe we'll run into some. Maybe we'll see some out there. Maybe a car meet. All right, catch you guys on the road. What's up YouTube? Um, just made it back from the Bay Area not too long ago. Actually took a nap and stuff, but didn't really film much because I just wanted to catch up with family on some personal time. So I'll continue this video tomorrow. Um, let's do a let's do a review of this car again. Some stuff changed on it, and uh, I get asked a lot of questions on Instagram and on YouTube about certain things like wheel specs and whatnot. So we'll go over that tomorrow. So yeah, um, I'll catch you guys when I wake up or, you know, yep, catch you guys tomorrow. Good morning YouTube, it's another day. Um, just getting some coffee and then uh, we'll start with the video of what's been done to my car. Um, I'll catch you guys in a bit. So what's up YouTube, um, just got my coffee. So yeah, let's go over my car. Um, we can start from the outside. So it's a 2012 Civic Si sedan, um, OEM color, sunburst orange pearl. Um, I had it since 2014-ish. Uh, went through many phases, had a UAE full front end with the headlights, but at one point I was gonna sell my car, so I kind of partially parted it out. So now I have this front end, which is a OEM 2013 front end. Um, obviously it's a lot different from the 2012 USDM front end. So yeah, um, it has a cord HFP lip, which I recently just put on. OEM grill, fog light delete. With the air ram, um, retrofitted headlights, uh, I think. 4.5k HID bulbs for the projectors and Nokia yellows for the high beams and drive lights. Um, or my bad, daytime lights. So, yep, that goes for the front. And then for the wheels, this is what I get asked all the time. Here's my wheel specs. They are Gram Light 57DRs. And semi gloss black with wrapped in 235 40 federal RSRR tires. They do run a little bit thicker, just to let everybody know that's why they look a little bit thicker than the normal 235 40s. And then um, raised center caps with black lug nuts. And uh, the specs are 17 by 9 plus 38 all around. And I'm running 5 mil spacers up front. Because I kind of had clearance issues with the tire rubbing against the coilover. And then suspension. I am on Godspeed Mono SS coilovers. Had them for a long time now. No issues. Um, just got to set the dampening to your liking. With um, In the rear, I am running Skunk 2 camber arms. The spherical ones. And then subframe brace and LCA covers. And then for the visors, I am running OEM FB6 visors. Some mirror visors I found off eBay. They look pretty cool to me, so I picked them up. And then Medulo side skirts. I mean, I try to keep it as simple as possible. Um, and that's it for the rear pretty much it's nothing really to it Just try to keep it simple and clean So uh, let's move on to the interior Excuse the mess I haven't really been able to re really been able to clean it much, but 
First you can see I'm running the Buddy Club Race Spec seat with the Buddy Club rails. Um, OEM steering wheel. Acuity shifter with hybrid shift knob and a shifter plate made by my buddy Mike FB6. Um, everything else is pretty much stock in the interior. Oh, gotta have that air squash. And then um, got the JDM road flare tucked in over there. It's a LED one, so it lasts longer. And then OEM FB2, like overseas JDM red hazard switch it glows red at night Broadway mirror it's a must and that's about it for the inside um, like I said I kept it really simple didn't want to do too much so yeah um, it's a fun car cool daily and if you want to mod it I do plan to pick up a project this year towards the end of the year maybe we'll see how things go so yeah we'll move to the engine this is all that you've been waiting for right <laughs> Nothing special, like I said, it's simple. Um, sus, te sus Tech hood dampers. Got them on both sides. They usually bolt here, but I had to move it here because I had clearance issues with the hood. So yeah, OEM battery. Um, it's like my second one. My first one went out, so if you if you have a ninth gen, you'll know what I mean. Um, password JDM manifold cover. Megan Racing strut bar. I like it, it's polished. Kind of closest you could get to a Mugen one for this car. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Spark plug cover. Uh, HPS intake tube to a KN filter down to an air ram. And then I have a K tune downpipe and a full, not full race, um, NVIDIA Q300 exhaust full cap back all the way to the back. So the car is a lot quieter. Um, it was a lot louder when I had my K-tuned. And uh, yeah, that's about it. I mean, like I said, I like to keep it simple. Nothing too much. I mean, I am in California, so we're very limited on what we could do. Plus, I don't want to go through the hassle of smog and shit. But yeah, um, here's my FB6. Um, stay tuned for more content. Maybe we'll do some more changes to it. But like I said, I'm looking for a new project. I am not getting rid of this car, but I am looking for a new project later on down the line so yeah thanks for watching um don't forget to like comment and subscribe and we're out peace